Als we het wel bij mogen zijn. Oké, okay, something is coming out, everyone. Please try not to move. Have no. Right, that is unbelievable. You're just seeing a battered fun. They've actually attacked it, but it will survive. It's much bigger there than them. Yeah. This is the first time we have ever seen this happen, ever. Oh, yeah, it, it the first time. Alright. Alright, possibly. But there we go, everyone. Now we have got this on a. It's been documented. Eventually, this goes on our online database. But uh, yeah, people have been visiting for years and we've been studying this animal for 14 years and we have never seen them attack a battered fox and bring it out like that and have it run off. We have seen on one occasion of them killing a small battered fox, but never this. Very, very fortunate to be with them today to see that. Alright, so that is a real documentary, people. And this is what I'm talking about. It's not set up to happen. This has happened as it's supposed to happen. It's nature. But you didn't put the fox in the last night? <laughs> I like that. Ah, <laughs> uh, you found me out. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> That's exactly what can happen on some sites. They yeah. set up things with predators yeah. and snakes. We don't do it, yeah. But that was very, very unusual to see. Wow. We know that meerkats and batted foxes don't usually get close to each other. But that animal is much bigger than them. Again, it just yeah. goes to show when you're in a team like this, it doesn't matter if you're smaller, when you stick together, this is the kind of defense you can have. Normally the Unbelievable. The, the meerkats? Actually, that animal usually eats fruits and insects, but okay. it's competition for them because it has the same kind of food okay. or similar to them. Yeah. But it won't actually eat them. Okay. Yeah. The fox die eet meer katten de stokstijgers niet. We've seen them together, haven't we? Maar ze zijn tegenstanders. Yes. Why will our bean by itself? Very good question. Cannot say. But it sounds like it's not the only one. Either they're picking up on the scent or there might be others here. But again, because we were with the meerkats, the bathead fox still came out. It's like we're not even here and it still reacted, interacted with them. That is not a tame animal, of course. But the animal yes. is that big that there can even be a fox in it. Yeah, it's big. It's like a Cape fox almost, yeah. but it's not actually a true fox, the battered fox, Otocyon megalotus. It's in a different family. It doesn't have the right kind of teeth to actually eat large food items. Yeah. <clears throat> They've got very big ears and they usually turn the ears downwards when they're hunting for insects. They turn them down like a big satellite dish almost over the ground. They dig up their food. Yeah. But the, 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 mm. the barrel is that big that the fox can fit. Amazingly, yeah. amazingly. I am a bit surprised as well that they could get in there. Yeah. And I have not seen bat-eared foxes using this burrow before. Okay. So this is also new to me. We're busy studying the bat-eared foxes, but they're very difficult to follow. Over time, we hope to be able to follow them like we do with the meerkats. Will they just smell that one? The Definitely they smell. Didn't they? You know the sort of yes. Of as soon as one of them came up here, I saw the tail gap. I thought something was happening. Uh -huh. And then they all started coming across. And then they started making that growling sound that we've heard. All right. Whatever it seems to be the only one. But they definitely bit it a few times because when it ran off, it was limping a bit. Will it be okay? I'm sure it will be all right. Oh, it's a big animal. But they definitely let it know that it must stay out of their burrow. <laughs> that's it. And that's exactly what they would do with other meerkats, except they would kill each other. They don't tolerate other meerkats in their territory at all. That's why males have a big risk when they go looking for females. Because the dominant male here in Nyati will attack them. Okay. If he dies, though, the, the other males here will not attack them because there's no competition. They won't breed with their sisters. There's some scent mark going on behavior there. And a dung sample now. They're marking their territory using the dung and the urine. And now some play fighting. A whole variety of behavior starting to happen. It's almost like a stress relief with the young playing. We call play fighting a ritual behavior. It's not just there to stop the animals from fighting when they are powerful with teeth and nails that could damage each other. That's also there for building of skills like agility and dexterity. But it will stop the real fighting from happening later if they play together and learn where they are in the hierarchy, we believe, when they're younger. Like those two, wriggling their heads against each other there, that's not just playing. That's what we call a dominance assertion. they like making the other one know, basically, that I am more dominant than you, etc. by doing that. And we've got some house cleaning, some 
cooperative digging. Please notice the meerkats have a special membrane, a fleece, a membrane that goes across the eye from the inside to the outside called a nictitating membrane. And this allows sand to go into the eye and just get wiped out again easily. So they keep the upper and lower eyelids open. But every now and again it looks like they're blinking like this one here. But it's just the membrane flicking across the eye. Like with cats and dogs.